What Wait, is I happening? You... Yeah, I know the deal. Well, that was weird. <laughs> what is happening, you lot? Welcome back to the Hashtag United channel. And this is... Oh, we say this every time. There's been a couple of videos that have been the biggest game in Hashtag history, but I say this is probably the biggest video, or the best video, in Hashtag United history, because today we are lifting a trophy. A bit of silverware for Hashtag United. And in fact, I think it's special because it's a competition that we haven't created, Stampy. I agree. I see you guys type, oh, Hashtag can only win competitions that they create. What are you saying now? Silence the haters. That's all I've got to say. He's got a point. But today's very important. We're going up against Coggleshaw United today. They're currently sitting in second place, and it's actually very, very interesting. If we did not draw our game against Hackney Wick, it would have come down to this game. And if they would have beaten us, I think they actually would have won the they title. Could have snatched the point. It's very close. Uh, it's been a long old season. Didn't have the best start, but as you can see, we've clearly pulled it back. We're out here doing bits. We secured the title now. I'm just looking forward to seeing everyone buzzing. What's he wearing? What's he wearing? They got prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on sober. My run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone in progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone in affection, I summon and dub it. Cause they got prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on sober. My run through the money. The press will be calling All of my dollars on corporate So hand me the money I divvy the pie I'ma give all of my people A portion to build them A fortune on flipping the bra Hey, 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 hey <laughs> Stretch gang Gang 101 So I'm gonna sit down with you boys now Talk to me How does it feel to be champions? You know what? This is actually the last time I'm gonna stretch As champs As champs How does it feel, guys? No words to say It's speechless How does it feel to be a champ, Gabo? Amazing and he's, he's got a haircut for the sitch as well. Look at that. Look. Ah! Ah! Steve, my hand. <laughs> Quick, get him. I can see what you're typing already. So I'm going to ask him right now. Where's this tattoo, man? LP was booking it. I, to be fair, I was supposed to book it. We can make this stuff happen, though. I see Ice has changed his hair colour as well. Yeah, I've seen it on so, Instagram. Somebody, somebody like, added me in the comment and was yeah. like, so what, is this happening? Yeah? yeah, so I had to remind both of you. that. And I replied saying we can go together. And he just put some... Emojis and okay, in the comments, if you guys remember, we did say I'm actually going to try and insert the clip now. Everyone, put it down in the comments below. Scott Willard should get hashtag Academy's best finisher tattooed on his body somewhere. It's going to happen one day. I don't care what you say. Okay. We'll do it. we do it. Sooner rather than later, though. Please. Let's do it this summer. Right. Wow. Let's go find someone else. <laughs> Sorry, boys. <laughs> Talk to me. How's it feel to be a champion? Uh, champ. Uh, Puff my hair back anyway. Yeah, it feels good, man. Happy. What can I say? Boys done well. Okay. So when are you changing your hair colour? Oh, uh, yeah. In the small print, it was. I have to play at least ten games. No, there is no small print. There is no small print. No, 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 no. Where's, no, no, no. Where's the small print? Do you have small print? Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. When Scott Willard gets his tattoo, he's gonna do it. When he does his tattoo, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, spray my hair any colour you want. Any colour? Any colour. Ah, you heard it now. <laughs> hey, wow. Well, I can't take it back. Scott Willard has to get a real tattoo. Did he say a real tattoo? Yeah, he did. He didn't say where, but... Deal. Deal. My hand's there. Take a look. Wow. <laughs> I'm in the main man, Drizzy. Turn the O2 into the O3 and that. <laughs> Talk to me, bro. Champ, yeah? Champ yeah, man. It feels good. And I'm starting today as well. So. Oi! Today, how, many, how many? How many? How Patrick many? Today. But, but if I don't get it, don't put this in the video. Guess what? I've just seen boys. He's, he's gonna try to Oh no. Did you see that? I didn't even need to run after him this time. This he come how, over. He, he, he wants to be in front of the camera all the time now. Oh. <laughs> scoring scoring today? Are you scoring today? No, I'm going one over there. <laughs> he's going for you. I've got a ledge celebration. So you're gonna do one on that? Can we have a preview of the, of the celebration or not? Is that? Can we have a preview of the celebration? No, I've, I've already told Devs. Are you dancing? What? You dancing? I'm always dancing. I've got to turn my energy down a bit because he Yeah, kill Jacko me. kick so, off, man. I've heard, I've heard he's still like, he's, he's not, even though we've won, he's actually not happy. I'll ask Never. him. Ask him. <sighs> Sorry, it's going to chop your warm up. Oh, we're not playing any silly games, are we? No, 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 no. no, 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 no what? Games, oh, you just for need to God's ask sake. you a simple question. How does it feel to be a champ? It's all right. <clears throat> Right, see, I'm just going to put it out there because obviously I thought that we'd won, like we're champions. I just thought the energy would have been a lot better. Yeah, but soon... I don't get this. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I, I can work with that. 
I can work with that. That's an exclusive. That is. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, screenshot this. Screenshot this. Wait, 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 wait. Ready? Uh, now. Good. Nice. Nice. Thanks. Man. Thanks. Hey, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Still looking at his hand. Still. I'm very, I'm very happy. With that. that was weird, mate. Do you reckon he? Oi, do, off vlog. Like, do you reckon he's actually like? He's he, he's annoyed with us, or do you reckon he's alright? Don't know. <laughs> you, you you're not stretching. What am I doing? I don't Stand, just sit it? like this, do I, Luke? What's going on here? Look at this leg. <laughs> Did you not see it? H is <laughs> <H, laughs> <H, laughs> just not stretching. Good stretch, man. Everyone needs to leave me alone. Why? I, I do my own thing. Right. <laughs> Why? Hey, <laughs> cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> right, that was a world peg angle. <laughs> I want to enjoy today. I want you to enjoy today. We've seen what's been said about all, all season. And, and we spoke about our standards all season. And today is about us meeting our standards because we're the champions of this league. And there's a responsibility and onus on us today to go out and play like the champions of this league. These score loads of goals, outscored everyone in the league this season. They are a threat going forward. But enjoy today, enjoy it for all the right reasons. Yeah, it's uh, coming up to, well, it's just gone 5 2. Let's get out there ready to go, normal time. Let's get the music on, let's go to work, let's work hard, let's be quiet. Let's go. And here we go, Lewis, for the final time this season at home and the last time in this stadium, Hashtag United versus Coggleshaw United, the team that pushed us all the way to the end, or well, one of two teams pushed all the way to the end. And it is, there's also going to be the day we're going to pick up that trophy. But before any of that, we've got 90 minutes of very tough football ahead of us here. Coggleshaw United scored more goals than anyone else in this league. They scored 100 goals. It's the best attack versus the best defence. We've got a game on our hands today. 100%. And they've got some men to be very, very aware of. George Smith, 31 goals in 35 appearances today. And Andrew Fennell, 27 goals in 39 appearances. Quite, quite crazy. They, they were on a nine-game undefeated streak until they lost to Holland recently. This is a massive... It could have been even bigger, but it's a very, very big game. We do not want to... We've got a pretty big crowd here. We don't want to leave them going away without finishing this off in style. It's a big turnout today, and you know what? I think it's fair to take this time and say what a day in Hashtag United history to lift silverware that hasn't essentially been created by us. Right, let's get into it. Let's have a look at the team lineup for today. We have in goal, ever present, Jamie Jacko Jackson, Kane Brogan, Bryce Ingano, Jack Harrison, our captain today, Tom Williams at left back, central midfield partnership, Ross Gleed and Ricky Evans out wide. We have a little few changes today. Tash and Richmond on the right-hand side, Gabe Kellum on the left, Albert Keith in behind, Hashtag United's top goal scorer, 22 goals this season, Neil Richo Richmond. And on the bench today, we have Marcus Stamp, Harry Honesty, Lee Hurstit, Charlie Morley, Morley Pig, and Ryan Adams. You know, I think that's one thing we've definitely had this season is squad depth. You know, players in the midfield, players in the defence. The likes of, like, Charlie Morley, he's always been playing unbelievable lately. He really has. I thought Charlie might start today, but possibly we'll see him later on, I hope. Great win of a header from Ricky Evans. Oh, Ball's through with Albie Keith. Intercepted. Ricky Evans with the volley. I'm surprised that ball has not gone over. To be fair, I am as well. There's been enough of them that have this year. Maybe Ricky's a new man. Ross Glee gets on the ball now. Out wide to Gabe Kellum. A big opportunity for Gabe today as he tries to get on the ball and can't do so. He's giving it away. And number 10 here, Andy Fennell. Tom gets a chance potentially. Oh, Tom Williams has let him go through. A little flick. Jamie Jackson comes out to make a save. And Jacko has been an absolute wall for us this year. And once again, another great save, Luis. Well, interesting stat. Players. Yeah, I mean, we've seen a lot of interesting things happen this year. The two teams conveniently sharing a squad. Coggleshaw United. Oh, the ball comes in here. Oh, and it's master the back stick. Opportunity for Coggleshaw United. And it's just turned wide. It was that man. We've talked about him all day. George Smith. Got those blood locks on the end of it, but that was high and wide. Bit of a panic for a moment there, Lewis. You have to say what a ball that was in. It was a very incredible. Nice Used the wind to his advantage. Ricky Evans brilliantly there dispossesses well his man and plays a nice pass out to Tom Williams, who will look for that famous clip down the line to Richard. Oh, he cuts inside beautifully. Sold everybody, including me there. Well Ricky done. Evans the one two with Tom. Here is the clip now. We've waited for it, and Tom delivers it towards Richard. Can he flick on? He does Breath. enough to get it towards Albert Keith, and that's just brilliant. Lewis, you talk about it. That's such an effective strategy. The clip down the wing, it either gets us through and put a cross in, or we've just won a free kick that Tom Williams will now whip in. You did give them to me, didn't you? They're gone again. Oh, well. Ball put in by Tom Williams. A much better ball. Off the, head. off the crossbar. Off the Denver bar. That all happened so quick. It happened so quick. I think it was a Williams. Tom Williams whipped in ball. Ross Gleed header. 
keeper looked like he was flapping at that and it's hit the bottom of the crossbar. You have to say that's a pretty good technique from Ross Glead there. The ball came to him and he just managed to flick it behind. Glanced it, didn't he? Lovely. Being on this beautiful 4G pitch here at Coles Park Stadium. And now our last game here before we move to Tilbury for next year. New home for Hashtag United. Played new there, league. haven't we already before? Played there once this season, pre-season. A very narrow 1-0 defeat to a team much higher in the pyramid than us. As Tom Williams clips that ball in nicely in between the areas. Ricky Evans tries to get on the end of it. Lewis, you called that beautifully. Tom Williams clears it full back towards Albie. And has dispossessed. Tasha Hold Richmond now Hold on up. the ball. Can he pick a pass? He can't, but he might get away with that. Alba Keith can get at the end of it. One man to beat. The number four. Can he find Shoot. it on the left-hand side to get a shot away? Alba Keith ducking and weaving. Not quite enough room to get the shot away. Blocked well and cleared outwards. We know Alba Keith can score bangers from there. He's got so much space there on the edge he of the box. He's open there, isn't he? So much space. Can Willow find him? Elects to whip it in. It's a good ball in again. Clipped on. Oh, and nearly oh. turned in. Neil Richmond looking for goal number 23. It looked like he was about to nestle in the bottom left-hand corner. And then... Coggleshield defenders just turned it away for a night. Here we go again, Lewis. Yep. Getting towards double-figure corners already. Ross Glee goes up to contest it. Tom Williams now hoops it up towards Tashan over on the right-hand side. He used his body weight to good effect there on number 11. He now holds it up, looks out to play Kane Brogan. He's got no one in front of him. Can he go on a run himself or does he look to just settle? He does settle. Back inside to Tashan. Tashan collectively inside. Ross Glee recycles the ball out to the left as Willow now and Ricky Evans have got it. Willow now opened up on the left-hand side. Can we see that left foot put in a first-time cross? We can. It's low. And it's all the way through. Nearly on the edge of the box. Albert Keith just can't quite get on a toe on it. And Coggles will look to well break. Done, but Gabe Kellum's done very well to win it back. Ross Glead. Now, Ricky Evans. One, two. Some great football. Gabe Kellum tries to get through into the box with some good defensive work there from Emmanuel Falarin. Jack Harrison will be asked a question now. Is he contestable with George Smith? But he comes out as he does so many times this season, and he unleashes the ball out onto the right-hand side for Albert Keith to run onto. Where we see a go down the line, or where we see a cut in. I think we're going to see a cut in like he does on that favoured left foot. Albert Keith strikes it. Blocked well, but it'll be yet another corner. Corner number seven, I believe, for Hashtag United. Here we see Tom Williams to whip it in. Great That's a ball. much better ball. Right into the danger area. Clips, he's hit somebody. Tasha tries to get a shot away. Ricky Evans looks for a yard. Get on to that left foot. Jack Harrison clips it in towards what I think was... Neil Richmond. There was so much going on there, wasn't there? There was an awful lot. I was about to run out of breath, Lewis. Yeah. I'm glad the ball went out because I'd basically run out of puff. <laughs> Good from hashtag. That could have been a questionable handball, by the way. Yes, potentially. We don't have the luxury of the replay. Let us know in the comments below. Maybe in a few was years Was there time. a handball there, potentially? Maybe in a few years' time. We'll have a bit of replay up in the stands with us. Number eight. On the ball. Ross Glee lumps forward. Towards wow. Richard, gets ahead on it. Done well to force a save out of Matt Walker. He's had a couple to make so far. You know that was? That was Ross Glead, a general, just a mindset of a good footballer, just to already put that ball into a dangerous area in the box. I don't think he even looked, just put it in. Goes forward towards Richo. He's going to hold it up here nicely and flicks it forward towards Albie Keith. He's got in front of his manic. First time cross, brilliantly well done from Albie. Just over Tasha and Richmond at the back post, who's now got the ball. Looks composed, gets the ball under control. Can he beat his man? Steps one way, steps the other, cuts inside, lays on the edge of the box to Ross Glead. Left foot of Ross into the box towards Richo. Not dealt with at first by Coventry United, but is now. Ricky Evans on the edge of the hashtag box. Knocks it forward towards right. Albie Keith, who was manhandled there. Albie Keith has won yet another free kick, Lewis. Ball crossed in from Tom Williams. Looking towards, oh, he's nearly on real Richmond's head, out on the edge of the box, only as far as Ricky Evans. Can he strike one? He can! Oh, he's deflected, I think, took a bit of the power off it into the hands of Matt Walker. Ball's nipped in over everybody, though, and not going to cause Jamie Jackson any problems yeah, here. Maybe looks for an early attack, but well, that will be all there is for this first half here. Hashtag United nil, Coggleshaw United nil. Devs, over to you. We've been the better side, but I don't think we've got quite to our standards. Um, the conditions obviously playing a big part, and it's going to be a lot more difficult second half. And what we've seen from them, in, in this, what we've seen from them is when they go forward, they flood forward. They absolutely flood forward. Where we've let ourselves down is when we do get the ball back, I think we've lacked urgency uh, and passed the opportunity to really go at people. When it goes into Richo, I think there's times it goes in and there's kind of three of them, but if it goes beyond him, there's runs to be had. To dri and, and I want to see you drive in off the outside and I want to see you drive in off the outside and now when you're close to it, be prepared to go beyond it and then stretch away from them. We must be switched on to them when they go forward, when they break out and they flood forward. We must make sure we get our track our runs and then are prepared to break and, and go on them. We've got 45 minutes left of our season. 
45 minutes left of our season. I want it to be a really good 45 minutes. Come on. Right, so TJ is about to kick it off for the second half. Dev said he wants more from the boys, and hopefully we'll get it. And we're underway. Cockles United get us started. Laid back to Lewis Seraf, who pumps one forward. Tash and Richmond gets under it. Wooten almost wins the header amongst two Cockles United players, who are now dancing around. A little bit of tag team from Albert Keith and uh, Tashan to get the ball back. We do end up getting it. Ross Glead pumps it forward. Chance here for Gabe Kellum to get the end of it. Can he open his Great legs? Pass. He can. Great, Great ball pass. and running in front of the defenders there. Gabe Kellum puts one into the danger. Area. Brilliant ball. It's for Neil Richmond. I tell you what, he looked like he went to strike it. I don't know if he missed the ball. It was clipped by the defender or the goalkeeper. He went down, calls for a penalty, not given. Referee not interested. But what a chance, Lewis. I can't believe what I have just seen. Gabe Kellum, electric pace coming up. I thought he was Harry Honesty in disguise. He's run out, played the ball out of his feet, and initiative. He knows that someone's going to be in the box, and Neil Richmond just missed out. We look to find himself some space here as Tom Williams takes the corner over from the far side here as we stand. Blustery day at Coles Park. Drilled corner from Tom Williams towards Ricky Evans. Half cleared. Ross Gleed on the edge of the box. Laid it out towards Richo. Tries to go wide, but doesn't get enough on it, and a chance to break now for Colts United. They play it towards that man, Andy Fennell, who's got a lot of pace. Jacko's come a long way here, hasn't got it. And I tell you what, he's nearly taken out the linesman as well there. OK, we're underway again, though. Gabe Kellum surely got an elbow in the back there from the number three, surely. But play goes on towards Richo, dispossessed. Ross Glee with a bit of a heavy touch, very unlike Ross. And the ball's now with Coggershaw on the edge of the box. Twisted and turning is Andy Fennell. Can he find the yard for a shot for us? Ingarno, who's been down on the floor a minute ago, has just won a great tackle, but then panicked a little bit and just kicked it out. Tash, Tash, who looks like he's holding his groin potentially. He's had some injury problems this year. Tash and Richmond is being made way for by Lee Hursett. I think he's playing in the Albert Keith role. He's put Albert Keith out on the right, and I think he's just going to sit in uh, just in behind Richo with still Gabe Kellum out on the left. I think you are exactly correct, sir, and I like that play from Devs. I've always said I feel Albie has his best games when he comes wide and cuts in. Hang on, chance here. Got to be cleared well. Isn't. Deflected around, it's ended up in Jacko's hands. No Have problem. we seen Lee Hursett playing that role? He's played more of a... He's played a lot lot deeper but he's what ball that is by the way Lee Hurston now has his first action of the game heads out wide right. towards Albert Keith who's won yet another free kick and he throws his arms up in despair it's as if card. to say how many times referee clipped it is from Tom Williams in between the lines chance flick on Ross Gleed did well and it's a pretty decent save from Matt Walker it's got to be said he does a fist pump to celebrate and then turned away by his defender for a hashtag corner Good opportunity, Lou. Great ball in and another, I think that's the second header we've seen from Ross Gleed off the back of a Tom Williams cross. It's coming. See if you can add to our story for next season as Ricky Evans has been a big part of the story this season. Clears the ball on the edge of the box and oh my goodness, not a bad strike there. You have to say, what a strike that was. Jack Hayes. When balls fall like that to you on the edge of the box, you just got to hear it. You, you called it from these very seats a few weeks ago when the ball fell just like that to Albert Keith on the edge of the box and he did hit it and what a strike it was. Paid off. Substitution for Hashtag United. Here comes Harry Honesty who's going to be replacing number nine, Gabe Kellum. He's had a very good game today. Gabe recently got his first goal for the club at this very ground. He's done well to come into the team. Looked very good as well today. Done work at both ends of the pitch. Tom Williams on the ball. Plays the ball up towards Albie Keith. A lot of high hopeful pass here. But this one's found his man. Albie Keith looking to get a shot nah, away. Good Great tackle. tackle, I've got to say. He's good appeals tackle. for a foul, but I don't think so. Referee's done well there. Jacko with the goal kick. Up towards Ricky Evans. He loses out on the header. Fryce Ngana has as well. George Smith with a chance. Chance here for Coggershaw. Gets shot away in that comes from the substitute, Lawrence Hale. But he didn't quite get good contact, and it's into the arms of Jacko. Going to be Albie, I think. Albie's number's gone up, his head's gone down. Good shift. Good shift. Good shift from Albie Keith. We know he wants to play every minute. But he's played well, gets a big cheer from the fans. And we are going to see Hashtag United original, Hashtag United, I dare say legend, Ryan Adams enter the fray. Nicking a couple of yards there. Licks more than a couple, and I loved it. Lee Hurst, loved that from Lee very well. Can he get the ball down the wing? He's done well to beat his man. Found some room. Can he unleash Ryan Adams? I said, I thought he put it too far in front of him. He's still Ray. going. Ray. Brilliant from Lee, uh, Lee Hurst, and he's won a free kick in a very dangerous position. You're going to ruin his hair. 
Tries to bring it down, does well to win it back. And he's got an opportunity to run out Ryan Adams here. Over the top, the flag stayed down. Ryan Adams tries to roll his man. Ross Klee, can he unleash Ryan? He probably wanted it on the floor, but he's got it in the air. He does well, though, with his first touch to beat his man. Can he get the cross in? Ryan Adams, what a great throw impact this would be. In towards Richo, who tried to take a touch and get it away from his defender. Couldn't quite find the yard, and Cogger shall clear the danger for now. Farai with a big hoofed clearance towards Richo, wins it beautifully. Good. Ryan Adams, can he beat his man? I think he's going to take him on. Every he's going to fancy his chances versus week. Easter. Go. And he's done him. He's done him comfortably. Now can we see a delivery from Ryan? It's not a bad ball, but he didn't quite get everything on it. And it's clipped in. It's going to be gathered by the goalkeeper, Matt Walker, who looks to click it very fastly. The game's picked up a little bit of tempo now. Maybe we can have a very fast and furious finish here. Number eight, Mawai Masangi is on the ball. Cutting in and out. Plays it wide to George Smith. Can he find some room for a shot? He won't mind a shot if he can. He has got a shot away, but it's blocked once again by that man for Isingano. And that is the reason why Hashtag United only conceded 29 goals so far in all league games. The best defensive record of anyone in the league. It's a lot down towards those wow. two. And of course, Jamie Jackson. Oh my golly. What Out of absolutely strike. nowhere, it's been banged from 30 odd yards out. Everyone left it, including me and Lou. Jack, I thought he was sailing over. He's clipped the crossbar and it's gone into Ricky Evans' garden. Good forward. The ball's bouncing around a lot here. No one really able to get the ball on the deck and... Make something of it. Lee Hurst it sticks his foot in though where he needed to brilliantly from Lee to get the ball to Ross Gleed, who puts it down the line, trying to find Harry Honesty, who looks like he's come into a central position here, hunting for that ball. Not really got a chance to get in the game yet. Ricky Evans though has won the ball. Can he give it to Harry? He can, but he's dispossessed by the captain of Coggershill, who plays it out wide right to number 11. Tom Blackwell does very well. But it wasn't Tom Blackwell, it's Andy Fennell, who's still on the ball. Can he get a shot away deflected into the arms of Jamie Jackson? That was a real opportunity to be the party poopers here for Cockles United. Andy Fennell has been a very bright spark all day. Can we finish with three points though? We're going to need to find a spark from somewhere as Ricky Evans kicks it forward. Go Harry. Harry Honesty is going to chase it. I think it's going to go all the way to the goalkeeper here. It hasn't quite yet though. Harry Honesty, can he win it at the last minute? Ryan Adams, oh, it was a real chance to get one. Harry's still closing it down though. The ball's not out yet. Richo, as the referee looks at his watch again, to Harry, who cuts inside, he finds some distance. Can he find his room for a shot? He can't. And the ball now goes out. It's probably going to be a hashtag throw. It's not a hashtag throw. It's a Coggleshire United throw. And that could be it, Lou. Ball played in from Coggleshire United. Kane Brogham to deal with it. Does so. Ricky Evans on the edge of the box. Nicely played. Ross Glead. Is there a chance for one more? No, Ross Glead doesn't fancy it. The referee blows the whistle. And that is it. 90 minutes. The debut season in non-league football from Hashtag United comes to an end. It comes to an end as league champions here. Only one... Goal, one game lost all season here at Coles Park in our last game here before we move over to Tilbury. Lou, it's been a fantastic season. Who would have thought at the beginning of this adventure we'd be lifting the trophy at the end of it? Don't go anywhere, guys. We will be seeing Hashtag United lift that league title in a minute. But before we do that, Lewis, I've got to ask you for today's Man of the Match. What an emotional journey it has been this season. You know, we've had some highs, we've had some lows, but we are champions. Most of them have been highs. And for me today, it's really tough for me to call a man in the match, you know, because everyone's had a great game, but no one's scored. There hasn't been any, like, shine-out performances. But for me, a clean sheet, you have to be looking at the defence. Uh, and for me, it's really, really tough, but I'm going to give it to Captain Jack. Captain Jack Harrison is your man of the match, fitting that in yet another clean sheet, hashtag United, the best defensive record in the league this season, only conceding 29 goals. And Captain Jack has been a big part of that. He's also contributed at the other end of the pitch. Nine goals from a centre-back. And he is your man of the match today. And he's also the man that will very shortly be lifting the league title. Um, I'm not going to talk back today. Because I'm, I'm not interested in it. Other, other than the fact that I'm delighted that we've got another clean sheet. And that uh, we finished the league. I mean, well, we're seven. We, we win the league by seven points. That's not a small margin, winning the league, and you thoroughly, thoroughly deserve it. But every person in this room, every single person in this room, is a vital part of this football club. Every person in this, this room deserves, plus, obviously, Spencer. <laughs> He's got a little bit to do with it. Every person in this room deserves today and the celebrations that follow. You're the champions of this league in our first year. In our first year. It. That's an amazing, amazing achievement and everybody, every person in here should be immensely proud of what we've achieved. Everyone. All right. But it puts us in a good place for next season, doesn't it?
right, because we go again, beginning of our journey, that's all it is, all there's ever going to be one year in. But everyone in here, we are champions. Champion! Champion! I'm here with Jack Harrison, captain of Hashtag United. How do you think the season has gone? Season as a whole? Uh, started off slowly. I think it's safe to say, obviously, with us picking up two points from the first four games. But then since then, obviously, we went on a 10-game winning streak. Uh, lost a few in the middle, but I think that was maybe because we were a bit, I don't know what I'm going to say overconfident, but I think because we were on a roll, mm -hmm. I think we sort of got into the stride of things and maybe thought we'd win two games easily. Mm -hmm. uh, but obviously, on a... What can I say, mate? We won the league. Won the league. It's one, it went well. It yeah. went well. And this season's out of the way now. We can yeah. celebrate in style. Um, how do you think next season's going to go in terms of opposition? How how we're going to um, fit in and how we are going to play ourselves in the, in the new league? Well, firstly, we've got to get used to actually playing on a grass pitch. Yeah. So we've got to play on a grass pitch twenty. When I say twenty four seven, but all the time. Um, so that's going to be a bit different. Getting used to like new environment. Hopefully, we have a few sort of friendlies to get used to actually playing at Tilbury. Um, I mean, we got to go like looking to get promoted again, haven't we? That was that was our aim for the start of this season. And ho I'm hoping people are going to sort of want to say, but take us for granted, but think we're going to be an easy three points or something like that, just because we got promoted. But Let's go for promotion again. Let's do it. Let's do well, it. Well done today. Thank you. Let's celebrate. Did you, who did you give the match to? Um, not you. I oh, know that was I obvious. Gave it to you. Did you give it to me? I give it to you then as well. Oh, no, you <laughs> <give it to laughs> I did it. I'll give it to you. Shout out my guy Sergio. Yeah, this guy travelled halfway across the planet. Yeah, not across the country. Across the planet. <laughs> it was worth it. It was worth yeah? it. You it see worth that? It. Love it. And, and you know what? You might even turn up tomorrow as well to the Sunday league game. That is what you call a true, true league, man. A true OG. So shout out Sergio. Hey, one season, two titles. Let's go for it. Yes. Let's go. And so this is where the video is going to be wrapped up. It has been an emotional one. It's been a journey. There's been some highs. There's been some lows. But we have come out on top. Obviously, we came away with a draw today. Nil nil. I think that's actually with the first nil nil we've had. Yes, it actually is. I think it might be. It's a weird one. It was a very weird one. The game was moving very slow at one point. I don't even know. But we don't even need to worry about that. What a season it has been. We scared you guys at the beginning. Yeah. Can't lie. Obviously, we had to make it entertaining for you guys. You know how it goes. My guy here scored the first ever hashtag United non-league goal. Put us on the map, man. Put us on the map. I don't know how I scored that, by the way. Just like... <laughs> it was an unbelievable header. But you know what? I'm not even just saying this, guys. But it's been... It has been an absolute roller coaster, you know, but we've loved every second of it. And your support, you know, we had like nearly 500 people here today. You know, you guys, you know, don't just have to come here and watch us. You guys support us online and it's just been incredible. And it would not have been possible if it wasn't Trust every me. single of one of you guys. We cannot thank you enough. Thank you so much for the support. I can say as a player as well, it goes it helps, a it? long, long way. You guys have no idea when you're, you know, when you can't breathe and you've got five minutes left on the clock. You think about all the support that you got behind you and trust me, it really does help. So thank you very much. Every single one of you watching this video. Legends, but guys, this is where the video is gonna be wrapped up. And I can't say to you next game because we haven't got a next game. Aye, that aye, was aye, the aye, last aye, game aye, of the aye, season. Hey, I can't, how have we played 36 oh, weeks of football? Nuts. What? It's nuts. It's, it's, got, like it's gone like that. Start, I just started last week. It's gone like that. But 
everything does come to an end but we will be playing again very soon but keep updated with our socials we will be creating more content so don't go anywhere keep up to date click that subscribe button and the notification bell and as always stampy don't forget to hashtag it we're the challenge hey, listen we're gonna do it sunday league as well i'm okay. telling you right now i'm telling you right now don't cut this we're doing it let's go